Hey everybody, thank you for joining in tonight. We're going to take a look at the Cool Fire Ace by Anakin and the Slipstream Tank also by Anakin. I got this over at healthcabin.net, www.healthcabin.net. This retails over there on their website for $45.99 for the complete kit. This is a 1300 uh, mAh battery. Um, this is just like a miniature size of the original Cool Fire. Um, actually, I do have an original Cool Fire around here somewhere. I just don't know where I placed it. Here it is. Here's the Cool Fire Ace. This is an original Cool Fire 4. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Big difference. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Anyways, this is a nice little uh, nice little kit. $45.99 over at healthcabin.net. You can find all their links down below. Um, it's a 1300 mAh battery. It's 0.8. It's going to give you from 6 watts all the way up to 40 watts. Um, it's a um, voltage and wattage only no temperature controls or anything like that but it's a very very nice little pocket mod and it's it's in a in a can solid i as you see that one right there that's a that's a two-year-old mod and it still fires just like it did from day one that's one of the things about Inakin. you know they're one of those steady ones that's been around a long time but their products are quality but let's really get up close to it and see what we really got it's that down low grab a vape meet me down there All right, so here we are down below here, and this is the way it comes into here. It tells you that it says Inakin sli uh, Slipstream Cool Fire Ace Complete Vaping System, and there's what the unit would look like with the tank. On this side, it just says Inakin, nothing, Inakin, nothing. On the back, it tells you that it says Cool Fire Ace Ultra Comp Compact Advanced Personal Vaporizer, Cero's, uh, 6 to 40 watts, Micro USB Charging Advanced Safety Protections, uh, which will go over a 1300 mAh battery, stainless steel 510 connection, and then it tells you, tells you what's in the box, it gives you your scratch and sniff, and your uh, little warnings about this here, and on the bottom there it says, sale only allowed in the United States. That's something different I haven't seen on many different packages either before. So let's open up the package and let's see what's inside here. <clears throat> let's take that off to the side. Here's your device. Look how small that is. We'll get to that in a minute. What else is in here? We got the tank, of course. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's see what else is inside the box here. It's got your owner's user manual. Pretty well illustrated. It's like all Inican products. They give you full coverage from front to back. Very, very cool. Get some real cool stickers. A replacement stainless steel drip tip in case you want to change out the Delrin one that comes with it. An additional 0 0.8 ohm canthal coil. A bunch of O-rings. Oh yeah, gotta have the O-rings. And a real sweet ass charging cable. Alright, and here's the beauty in itself here. Again, look how tiny this thing is here. Looks just like the original um, Cool Fires. But in a miniature form if you were to take a look at it here here's an original cool fire 4 40 watt device look at the size difference i mean almost the same facing and everything it's just in a very condensed version but we'll get back to that after but i just wanted you to see same kind of finish and everything but it's just everything's in a smaller version all together so Love the color onto this here. You got this here. It comes in purple, but it also does come into a black, a silver, and a, um, I'm trying to think. It also comes in a red and another color also. Um, blue. Black, blue, silver, red, and purple. The dimensions on this here is 63 millimeters from top to bottom. It's 40 millimeters going this way, and you have 26 millimeters across the top here, which I do not believe it actually is. I believe it's only like 22. But on your website, it says 26. Just a, just a little heads up. It does have your standard 510 threading stainless steel with a gold-plated spring-loaded pin onto it very very cool this does have a built-in 1300 mah battery with pass-through technology because it's the only way you're going to be able to charge it anyways but while you are charging it you can use this your voltage rating is going to go from 3 volts to 7.5 and like i said at the beginning your operating range is going to be from 6 watts to 40 watts with a maximum of 40 watts 
Um, this will fire all the way down to 0 0.2. This has overheat, over discharge, and short circuit protection, and other charging safety protections as well. And uh, we already gone over what the kit contains. And uh, so let's take a look at it here. And like I said, we've got your 510 here. You got venting here and here. And like I said, it's got the same build onto it. On your front here, it's going to have when you turn this on, it's going to be just like the original Inokin cool fires where you get the rainbow. One, two, three, turns it on. All right, so let's take a look at the menu here onto it here and right here is going to show it says check itemizer because I don't have anything on but it has your battery indicator and the seconds of how long your draw is and it tells you that your wattage just will go again from 6 watts to 40 watts and it shows that you do have your ohms and your voltage now if you want to get in there and change this to because this is only going to be your wattage and voltage and we're in the wattage mod mode but if you wanted to go into voltage mode you would hold down your power and your negative bring it up so you can see it yeah if i could bring it into focus in here and then if you were to hold these two down you could flip it there you go now we're into your voltage this will go all the way up to and your voltage all the way up to 7.5 and just like with all Anakin products if you have this in your pocket and turn it on and it just hits like that it's not going to fire until you hold it and press it and then when it blinks and then you let off and then you can go in there and you can change it and this will go all the way up to 7.5 all the way down to 3 volts and again if you want to get back into your wattage you hold your power and your positive this time and this will switch you right back over to your wattage all right, so that's about it on the menu. There ain't no other frills and thrills. Actually, there is. If you hold down, I believe, the power and the positive and negative, it will flip the screen. We're into this mode. And maybe just hold down these two. And one, two, three, flip. And now it's going the other way. And again, if you want to flip it back, one, two, three, and now we're back to the other way. Let's take a look at the tank here now, and then we'll get back to the mod here. Here is the slipstream tank here onto it, and this is a very unique tank. It's 41.25 from the bottom of the uh, 510 to the tip of the uh, drip tip, and it is 21 millimeters going across this way. This is a 2 mil tank capacity and this does come in, if you were to buy this separately, you could buy this in black or in stainless steel. And this does retail on their website for $16.50. And you can get replacement coils. They sell a five-pack over at uh, Health Cabin for $12.50 for this. Um, it does have top fill design. Um, triple air flow, which I'd only seen two, but we can go over that. It says here, one, two, and three. So that is your triple air flow. But when it gets to the coil, I think there's only two. And it's got your glass ports here onto it as well. So let's open this up here. Um, you can, it's got your replacement 510. Like I said, if you, I like the Delrin one, but it does give you the plat, uh, the stainless steel one as well. You can take this completely all apart. This uh, airflow here is very unique. As you could see here, if you, you could just spin this off from here to open this up. But once you, put this on here it works like child like a child safety cap once that's on there and if you were just to turn this see it would just turn this but to open it up just give a little press down onto it and then turn it and then it unlocks it so you can open this up here and this has got that nice cup style so it's not going to be it makes it leak proof which is also tpd compliant and being a two mil so it's also again being uh TPD compliant and with this being filled here through the top you're gonna have less chance of any uh, you know spillage or anything else also and when you take a look here if it'll pick it up see where that m says max because once you put your atomizer back in it's gonna fill this up where up past to here so now let's take a look at the coil and like I said, I showed you the one that it comes in that's already installed plus the one that comes with it. You take a look at the airflow here first. And with this airflow, you got the one, two, and three. And if you can look down inside right here, here, and here, you have little airflows that come in. 
so when it hits it comes into your coil and if you look you see what I was talking about there's three coming in but only two going down but what comes in it comes through your cap straight down through the side of the coil down to the bottom and then right back up through the center where you're drawing so you're gonna get excellent excellent flavor onto it and again on this right here it is a 0 0.28 on your ohms and they recommend this here for 20 to 35 watt maximum but they also have this this is the canthal but I do know that they also sell a 316 L over there on uh, at health cabin and this is very easy to assemble you just take this line it up into here screw it in pipe a cap on let's throw some juice into the tank and let's uh, go from there we're going to use some of this here from uncle mike's elixir this is his hubris i got a review coming up onto this this is the black heart this is a real real good uh, fresh strawberry and uh, banana pie banana cream pie awesome awesome flavor but I got a review coming up onto it anyway so let's fill this up here and then we'll take it up on top I'm not gonna quite fill it all the way to that max line because when I put the tank in I want you to see what it does Okay, so we're not quite up to that line. But once you put this in, and that's one thing I didn't show you. And when you go to put this in, you should really, I would recommend that you prime this. And very simple to prime, just like on all your coils. Put a couple drops, nothing too much to flood it. Down the center, and put a little bit onto the side coils here. Just to let the juice get into the coil. Uh, cotton so you're not going to start off with a dry burn and then again it's not quite up to that line but once you see if it'll pick it up once you put this in gravity will take effect and pushes that down and forces the juice to come up to your fill line and above that and then your airflow you want to have it all the way there and then like I said once it's on there you can just this will spin because I'm not putting any pressure down to open it up so put that on there Move the juice out of the way and now you can see that it fires off to 0.08 on your ohms and don't mind that rolling that's not none to the screen it's just the way the camera is trying to keep up with the light and we're gonna run this at 35 watts let's take a rip onto it and meet me upstairs all right so welcome back up on top so what you think of the cool fire ace and the slip tank uh, slip stream tank I like this. I know my wife. She's already claimed this. She's like, as soon as you're done with it, she's taking this from me. And that's fine. She fell in love with it. She loves the use of it. She's been using this in her purse. She throws it in her purse and everything. It's been holding up very, very nice. Um, she loves the tank onto it. I mean, it's perfect for her. She's never been a smoker, but she loves to vape and she loves the flavors. And with this little point eight, this is right in her wheelhouse at the 35 watts. This clock's right in perfect for her. This is an ideal unit and with the five different colors, you know, you don't have to be a female to enjoy this here. This is a nice mod for someone that is just transitioning over also. Because this being a point eight, you're not, you know, and a lot of people, you don't want to jump right into it. You know, I'll just go face first into it. This is a nice little one that you can help you graduate right up into there. And once you get past it in the 35 and 40 watts, then you're starting to go to the next level. So this is a perfect little mod for when you st are starting, you know, because with this little tank... It's TPD compliant. You got the nice top airflow. Flavor is excellent onto it. Vapor production is beautiful. It 
seriously. Um, it hits. It's. I mean, you can do mouth to lung with this here. Again, it's all pluses. And like I said at the very beginning, it's Anakin. You know it's going to be solid. Every one of them, I have probably seven different Anakin devices. Every one of them, they range from two years old all the way up to new that work just like they did from day one. I love Anakin for that. I really don't see any issues with this whatsoever. I'm enjoying it. Um, I mean, like I said, and it's a no frills kind of device where you got your voltage and you got your wattage. Less things to think about so you can concentrate on moving on your journey. Excellent. Um, and it's got all the same interface, just like if anybody's had the original ones, you know, three on, three off. You can flip the screen. Um, it, it tells you your battery indicator by the color, green, orange, or red, or green, yellow, red, I'm sorry. Um, this does come in, like I said, the five different colors, the black, blue, red, purple, and stainless steel. My wife fell in love with this one here. So, um, again, I picked this up at um, healthcabin.net, www.healthcabin.net, and this does retail for the whole kit for $45.99. And if you need to want to do this to get the slipstream tank, they sell that over there for $16.50, and they sell five pack coils for this for the replacements. You can get them in the 316L, which is good, even if you were to want to use that on to a different device that does use temperature control. You got your stainless steel, and that's one beauty thing about stainless steel is that you have that. Or you can use it in either wattage or voltage. It's not like nickel, titanium, or any of them. You can't. You only have to just use it one way. Stainless steel is the best way. And being 316L, you're going to get the cleanest vape onto it. So they have the five pack over there for that for $12.50. But you can also get the 0 0.8 Canthal for the same $12.50 for five of them. That's a sweet deal. All right, people. That's going to do it for tonight. So until the next time. Keep vaping.